vain. It was a beautiful fall morning on the island of Sodor. And Sir Topham Hatt had some very exciting news. Day is a very important day. Is it your birthday, sir? Oh, oh, even more important than that, Thomas. Is it Christmas already? No, no, Percy, not just yet. Tonight, the Mayor of Sodor and I are to attend a celebratory ball at Callan Castle. <laughs> oh. <coughs> well... We'll need an engine to take us there. Oh, oh, me, sir. Maybe I could take you, sir. Please, I could take you, sir. Please, 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 I would be, please. would be honored to take you both, sir. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Not all at once. If it's that important, you should be carried by a really splendid engine like me, sir. <laughs> Typical James. Always trying to get the best jobs. I know. And the mayor lives on my branch line near Suttery. Well, James was the first to speak up, so he gets the job. Oh, thank you, sir. Just so long as you get the rest of your work done in time, James. I won't let you down, sir. <laughs> James was as good as his word. He worked extra hard all day. Here's James! You're looking jolly, James. Yes, I have a special job tonight, Cranky. I'm taking the mayor and Sir Topham Hatt to an important ball at Callan Castle. Wow! I wouldn't want to keep you from your special job, James. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Leaky sugar sack. Never mind, Cranky. It's only sticky if it gets wet. Go, go. Like that, you mean? Oh, no! My beautiful paintwork! <laughs> <laughs> Even though he was a bit sticky, James kept smiling as he went about his work. But as the day went on, his bright shiny red paintwork got dirtier and dirtier. Oh, oops, sorry James. <laughs> and James got more and more fed up. Here's James! Oh. Hey! Uh, oh. oh! Oops! Uh, oh! Hello, James. Looking forward to your special job tonight? Yes! But I need to get to the washdown to clean up first, and I'm still not finished for the day. Well, would you like me to do one or two of your jobs so you can finish early? No thanks, Edward. I can manage. I told Sir Topham Hat I can do all my work and the special tonight, and I will. Oh, suit yourself. James was exhausted, but excited, having been cleaned up at the washdown. Hmm. What is it? Um, uh, nothing, James. Just, uh, just a little scratch on your paintwork. Oh, a scratch. A scratch? That isn't nothing. I, I can't pick up the mirror looking like this. But your paint won't be dry. Don't worry. I thought about that. It's a very windy evening, so that, plus my speed, should dry my paint in no time. Please, Victor, I don't want to let Sir Topham Hat down. Well, all right, my friend. If you're sure. <sighs> Thank you, Victor. It's going to be a wonderful evening. James's paint was still wet and sticky as he left the steamworks. As James had predicted, it was very windy indeed. 
But unfortunately, that didn't help at all. Here's James! Well, Edward, what do you think? What? What's the matter? What? What's the matter? Oh, James, your paintwork. Oh, it's splendid, isn't it? You've got dust stuck all over it. it. Dust and leaves. Leaves and twigs. Twigs? Leaves. Twigs? Oh, I should have ignored that little scratch. I can't pick up the mare looking like this. Edward, I don't suppose. <clears throat> Could you take the mare to the ball for me? Please? Oh, I'd be happy to, James. Oh, thank you. Here's Edward. Oh, Edward was very proud to take the mayor and Sir Topham Hatt to Callan Castle, even though they'd been expecting James. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to find James. Oh, stop hiding back there, James. I want to see you. <laughs> I don't know about being a really splendid engine, James, but you're certainly a really sticky one. <laughs> well, I must say, you do look ridiculous. And if that wasn't bad enough, you let me and the mayor down very badly last night. Hut. I'm sorry, sir. But Edward told me all about what happened. I hear you worked very hard all day, James, and completed every job you had been given. If you hadn't have been so worried about a tiny scratch, you could have completed your special job, too. Now, go and get cleaned up. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> James was sent back to the steamworks to be repainted all over again. And while he was waiting for his paint to dry, he had a surprise visitor. Oh, hello, your worshipfulness. <laughs> hello, James. Your friend Edward told me how disappointed you were last night not to be able to take me to the ball at Callan Castle. That's very kind of him. Your Highness. You can call you can call me Mr. Mayor, James. Will James's paint be dry by this evening, Victor? Oh yes, sir. Yeah, Mr. Mayor. Oh yes, sir. Yeah, Mr. Mayor. And would you like to take me to a dinner in Vickerstown tonight, James? I'd be honored, Mr. Mayor. We both would. Actually, I'll only be needing James tonight, Sir Topham. Oh. That night, James felt very proud to be taking the mayor to Vickerstown. You do look splendid tonight, James. Thank you, Edward. I know. Wouldn't want to change a thing. 